In Rome in 64 AD, a massive and devastating fire rips through the city. Three of the city's 14 regions are destroyed. Only four remain completely unscathed. It evidently takes six days to put the blaze out. The fire becomes a political nightmare for the emperor of the day, Nero. Public rumors begin to circulate that he actually started it himself. Because everyone knew he wanted to remodel the city, and now, conveniently, much of it has been leveled. Nero's response is, for me, another major turning point for Christianity. With fingers pointing at him, Nero needs a scapegoat. The Roman historian Tacitus, writing around 50 years later, claims the emperor singled out and blamed the Christians. In the next few years, according to Tacitus, Nero orders Christians to be crucified, burnt alive, and suffer all sorts of terrible punishments. Nero kills himself just four years after the Great Fire of Rome. And while his memory is actively wiped out by his imperial successors, and public buildings like the Colosseum are built over his private park, Nero's accusation against the Christians seems to linger in the Roman political and public consciousness.